Today we're gonna to be making Kevin's famous chili. If you're wondering why I'm in my car, is we're gonna be meeting Kevin or Brian, whatever you wanna call him, before we cook this chili. So on the Maplewood Malls page, cause that's the area I live in, Maplewood and stuff, it says come meet Kevin from the office on May 6th and stuff like that. And as you can see, he's gonna sign the book, which I'll get into that later. And then he's gonna come to make a mall in the Barnes and Noble area, May 6th. Obviously, this is long gone by now. And then there's a mug of him, which is exclusive. As you can see, boy, right here, I am in the line. I am kind of near the front, although it did take me like four hours, but I don't know if you can see barely, but the line looped, so like the the back of the line was where the front of the line was, so you can tell it was pretty long. Luckily, I still got to meet him, but a lot of people didn't. Except for, like, a quick picture, because Brian was really nice about it. If you couldn't tell, that was every that was a lot of people that were in line, and they were really far back. That's a classic. It's gonna be a classic. This is gonna come right up there. After hours in the line, I actually made in the Barnes and Noble, and yeah, as you can see with that book right there, he's that's actually my copy of his chili cookbook. Pretty cool. It's my copy right there. That's, that's my copy of the book. Oh, I can grab that. That's crazy. If you're wondering why I paused it right there, is because he said something. He said that, do they think they're going to still make it in? If you're wondering why I'm talking about this, is he was referring to the people in the back of the line, which, like I said, it was still looped. And it was also like, I'd like to say there was only an hour left before he left the mall. So, they real I was surprised that they still think they were going to make it, but they still got photos with him. Just wanted to say that because I thought this moment was really funny. As I, me and my mom in the line kept thinking about that too. Like, do they really think they're going to make it? I just don't get it. Okay. My brother was like one year old. Did you just hear what he said? He was talking about the people at the very end of the line, which are very far. And he's like... Do they think they're still gonna make it in? That was so funny. Oh my god. We've made it back home. So these are all the recipe, and this is everything we're gonna need for it. So we need three pounds of ground beef, and we have it right here. We're also gonna need ancho chilies, canola or vegetable oil, jalapenos. White onions. Sorry, I meant yellow onions. Uh, six, this is actually five cloves of garlic. Tomatoes, tomato paste. Also two cans of beer. Now this will not get me drunk and it will not, I won't, <laughs> nothing will happen when I have this, trust me. Um, a can of pinto beans. This is a large can ground cumin, cayenne pepper, oregano, I think that's how you say it, oregano leaves, salt and pepper, and three things of beef stock. This is only one, but we have three. So on the top, you're supposed to put sour cream. I'm showing everything everywhere to get all this stuff to show. Um, pepper jack, uh, shredded pepper jack on the top and scallions so now that we got all of these we got to look at the first step in the cookbook so the first step is we're going to be chopping these into we're going to be dicing these the reason there's water running and we're on the sink is because it will stop your eyes from burning as we're dicing onions i'm gonna work on this so you have to tear these ancho chilies with no stems Oof. I need a place for this. So now they want to tear these into pieces. Okay, so we're starting to get on the inside. We are going to put this over our little garbage bowl here. Oof, that's a lot of, that's a lot of seeds coming out of this thing. 
see more still fall out of the little ancho chili. So we got that one. Now it's time to tear this into a couple of pieces, just like the book said. I just wanted to take a moment to show the inside of this. Look how many seeds there are. This is the amount of seeds that fall out of these things. I got all these uh, ancho chilies uh, in the pieces. We put our onions in the bowl because they're diced up now. Two, four. So after this, we gotta put them on here. So now we gotta keep it in there for a couple of minutes and stirring, obviously. So you just gotta stir it occasionally. You don't have to do this all the time. These have the same effect as onions. I'm, my eyes are tearing up. You see this? I don't know if you can see it or not, but they are. They say you gotta grind it or whatever. We're just gonna use a blender. We, I'm gonna hope this works. You gotta continue doing that. So that... I don't know. So now we dice a tomato. So I got these all done. Yes, I did dice all these by myself. It's kind of <laughs> kind of crazy. This is the first thing I've actually diced myself all on my own. So you gotta pour a tiny bit of your oil in. And then you're gonna wanna put your ground beef in. That was coming in. That was one pound. Now two pounds. The final pound, the third pound. Boom. There's three pounds in there. So we break it up now. As you can see, we're breaking it up. Some of it's already brown. Then take out all the beef once it's done cooking. You gotta mash these beans with a potato masher, but not completely mashed. You still want some whole ones in there. So you just continue mashing it up like this until it looks like this. So now we have these. We just have to peel them and then we can put it in a garlic presser, but that's for later. Putting onions in. So now our jalapenos are diced. We are currently peeling these cloves of garlics. Now we use a garlic presser on the garlic. Then you add in diced jalapenos. So now you have one tablespoon of oregano leaves and cumin, two teaspoons, but you ha but we don't have a two teaspoon size one, so we have to do this four times until we actually get it in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add one quarter a teaspoon. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. He's very annoying. Then two tablespoons of tomato paste. You're gonna open your two beer bottles. So now you so now you add your two beer bottles. I saw a part fly off. Oops. We're adding back our ancho chilies. We don't know if we're supposed to right now. The book literally never said. So we're just going to hope this is the right time. I mean, after all, it is like a spice like the other things we just put in. After seven minutes, you're going to add your tomatoes and slightly mashed beans into the pot. Then you re-add your ground beef. Oof. Then you're gonna add three cups of beef stock. I hope if we have space, that's true. It doesn't look like it. Let's hope. Oh, maybe we do. That's exciting. I didn't actually think we were having space after you said that. 
And would you look at that? We actually still have space. <laughs> and then you're gonna add your salt. And then you're gonna also add pepper. Okay, our chili. Okay, our chili is ready. So now we gotta put sour cream on it. We're gonna put pepper jack cheese all over it. Ooh. Okay, let's try. Okay. There we go. Chili. Okay. I have to blow on it. This thing's pretty hot. Seems like I got some non-broken up ancho chili. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's this, although I did want to show you what we did here. So this is a mug you got for meeting him. Well, it was only 15, you had to buy them and they're kind of expensive, but we got this. I don't know if you can read that. It looks upside down to me, but it, or not upside sideways to me. And also, <coughs> our cookbook is signed by him since we went to that event. Pretty cool.